Craig, let's do a podcast. Sure, let's do it right now. This is the first time. Hey everybody, welcome welcome back to Rebootleggers. It's a comedy podcast where we reboot things that don't need rebooted and should not be rebooted, but you know, we go there. We're gonna We brave the uncharted swamp waters of uh unrebootable material. Mm-hmm. Spoiler, we said swamp, we're not doing Shrek though. Oh yeah, sorry, no, we're not doing Shrek. We were thinking about Shrek before this, and we're... then it bled over. A lot of Shrek thoughts were happening. Uh, did you say your name yet? I'm Sc- I'm I'm Scott Owen. I'm I'm Frank Sarah. Um, and... resident Shrek expert. <laughs> but we're not doing Shrek. We're not doing Shrek. But we are doing a close cousin of Shrek. Cousin safe, yeah. Cousin, yeah. Uh, Frank, do you know Harry? Oh, down at the corner. Mm-hmm. And the no. Hendersons. Oh, the Henderson Harry. Harry and the, the Yeti, Hendersons. the Bigfoot, the uh, Northern uh, Rock Walker. Yeah. This, I'm looking at the movie poster and it has two taglines and it's pretty incredible. According to science, Bigfoot doesn't exist, is at the top. Perfect. And then at the bottom, when you can't believe your eyes, trust your heart. So. According to science, Bigfoot doesn't exist. So somebody just went ahead and called up science. Hey, science, tell me if Bigfoot exists. Nah, Bigfoot doesn't exist. I'm and he science. said no. So sorry, guys. Science said no. But when you can't believe your eyes, trust your heart. Not much to say about that part, I guess. You know? Yeah, I'm in. So Harry and the Hendersons, a popular f- eh? Eh? Mm. A film. Family film, John Lithgow's in that bad boy. Yeah, he's the Henderson. Uh, there's like a family that meets a Bigfoot, and the Bigfoot becomes friends with the little boy, and they try to like, they try to like hide him, but mm-hmm. he's a giant monster, so mm-hmm. it's not very easy. And then they realize that if they love Bigfoot, they've got to send him back into the wild. And it, there's a whole like the little boy says like, "Go." No, that's you... that's John Lithgow who says go. John Lithgow does that part? Mm-hmm. It's John Lithgow crying, telling so him to get jo- out of jo- here. So John Lithgow with a lollipop and and Does and not a have hat. a lollipop or a He says, hat. go, you stupid ape that I love. He doesn't say that and, I love. And He's trying. Harry and Harry, all right, you're going to let me do, do, the, do the summary or not? <laughs> Continue. So John Lithgow has a lollipop and a propeller hat, and he says, no. go, you stupid ape that I love. <laughs> and then Har- Harry can't talk, so he goes, Ugh. And then John Lithgow says, "You have to leave. I hate you, but I love you." And he hits and then, him, and then he and then he goes away. He hits him. He does. He does a hit. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So this movie also um got turned into a TV show. Yeah, with Scott Bayo. Scott Bow. Do not know much about the show. No. Did not follow the program. It had 72 episodes, though. That's a lot of episodes. It's a lot of episodes. And I believe they are still... Yeah, they're still the Hendersons. It's like a... It's, it's like a... It, the show, I think, is a reboot of the movie. Like, it's, it's a different telling of the same plot. It's not like a mm. sequel. Okay. Okay. So, they beat us to it. So, this is a re-reboot. It's a re... E- it's a reboot. Re-reboot, I think. It's hard to create new words, you know? So a Sasquaman a sas- is, in, sas- is in... I think it's pronounced Sasquaman. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. A Sasquaman. So this is basically Alf, but giant is what I'm getting the vibe for in the, in, the, in the TV show. Yeah, it kind of is just Alf, but from Earth. Like, he's not allowed out of the house, and they have to hide, pe- they, they have to hide him when people come visit. He can't talk. Yeah, see, Alf's one of those smart talkers. We already did Alf. I don't want to spend too much time on Alf. No, I don't want to spend too much time on Alf either. But so, I'm I'm interested in the... I think there might be... There's some meat on that tagline, though. When you can't trust your eyes, trust your heart. Trust your heart. And, and, and according to science, Bigfoot doesn't exist. Does that mean Bigfoot is magic? Are we into a magic Sasquaman? Oh, Sasquaman? is this a magic Sasquaman? Is, that, is this is this a magic yeti? Um, Squatch, Squatch. That's good. Let's put a pin in that one. The magic Squatch. So, I think the first thing we need to do is make him not horrific. The 
suit slash possible animatronic slash whatever they used for Harry, uh, the the Sasquatch Yeti, Sasquaman, mm-hmm. um, is terrifying. I'm not sure how much you remember, but I, I just briefly Googled it. Mm-hmm. And it is nightmarish in both yeah, form his, and stature. His smile is haunting. As we his, need to make this thing not creepy as all get out. His eyes stare directly into the soul. Yeah, but in the way where maybe he's going to eat your soul. Yeah. It's bad. Mm-hmm. It's bad. Yeah, it's real bad. Oh, it's horrible. Okay. So how can we make this not horrible? Because, Frank, I don't know if you know this, but Sasquatches aren't, like, vampire hot. They're not. They, I think they're coming around the corner. Do you think we're seeing a we're, we're at a turning point? I think in this is when large, hairy, mm-hmm. semi sentient, semi eight men, eight men turn the corner. Okay, but we need to help them because they're not very smart. That's okay. So we need to, sh- we need to show them the corner to come around. So there's a lot of them. Could be in this movie. There's just the one. There's just the one ever. There's just Harry. Yeah, and I mean in the in the um the lore, there's but one big foot. The 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 footed one of the bigness. Yeah. Okay, so there's just Harry. He's lonely. Do we do so? This is I don't. This this could be tricky. This, this, tell me if you're not if if we're not ready for these waters. But a common area and often a misstep that sequels and whatever like to go into is previously this this creature that was previously believed to be the only of its kind we now discover where he come from and he has family he's is he stranded on in on in our realm of earth you talking about he's from another dimension of the or he's fae? from like a magical, like a magical cave of the Fey. Are we gonna? Oh, we're we gonna get. We're we gonna get old England. We're going into the the land of fairies. These squatches yeah, okay. are fairies. Yeah, the squatches. All right, all right, all right. Squatch fairies. So, squatch fairies. Hmm. No, that's good. We got squatch fairies, right? Yeah. Do they grant wishes? Maybe. Do all what, or do all, I, th- I thought I thought only fairy godmothers granted wishes. All right, so then what do Squatch fairies do? They, uh, they're the guardians they, of the gates to the fae. They the so muscle, the, the gate guardians. Okay, I thought they would have something cute like they, if you, um, if your shoes are untied, they like they have to tie them. They 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 cook all your pies for you in the middle of the night. Oh, uh, they cook. Okay. They cook. All right. They find. They find. They find. Do they make pies out of your loose ingredients? They they just make as much pies as the material you have you have in your house could make. I think support. they find beleaguered and haggard co- cobblesmen, piemen, and wait, co- wait co- cobblers as in as in cobblers. You know, like a peach cobbler. Okay, so they find they find cobblers. Okay. They find those who make pie. A cobbler er. Mm-hmm. A cobbler er. They find cobblers. So they're they're the friend of the cobbler er. Yeah, well, hmm. I actually you know, so I was thinking of this as like a the elves and the shoemaker situation where they seek out um you know bakers what need helping, but I kind of like your idea where they just sneak into people's houses and use all of their yeah, they dry just, ingredients. Yeah, they just break into your home. Yeah, uh-huh. they make pies. And so this is a funny thing when the family brings him, brings him to their house, like he comes, in, he walks in the door, and they, they're like, this is a door. He's already gone. He's in the kitchen, and he is jamming <laughs> a pie. I think they find him because the, they, so they, they move, so I, we're, we're putting this Pacific Northwest, So wait, right? he's the... He's the yeah. He's the guardian of the cave of. He's trapped guardian. on this plane. Maybe is he simple? Yeah, yeah. He. Ooh, I think he's not simple. But there is no easy method of communication. Okay. He doesn't. T- he he doesn't speak of the English. What I envision. <laughs> 
what I envision is that, you know, they have their recent residents of this Pacific Northwest and like they've been here about a week and then first just randomly when they wake up some mornings there's just pies in their kitchen but oh this is the hendersons okay okay yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and but the the thing about the pie squatch is is they don't bring their own ingredients so it's not actually like they're doing you a favor they're like using up your stuff Mm -hmm. to make these pies and so like the family's like, oh, we're going to make waffles this morning. And then they get down to like, hey, where's all the eggs? Why is there a pie? Mm-hmm. There's no flour. I was going to sprinkle blueberries. They're all, they're all gone. And then they turn and there's like six pies. <clears throat> mm-hmm. And just one of every plate, one of every, one of every, one of, one of, one of every of, of all the six colors. All the colors. <laughs> only six colors. We not respect yeah, the, indigo? Yeah, the human eye can, can only see six colors. We're not respecting indigo? Everyone knows indigo is just purple. Mm. That's that's divisive, but you know. All right, they wake to find pies in all six colors. Yeah. So, uh, why is Harry here? Harry is a the guardian of the cave of the f- fairies. He is he one of the guardians, or is he like the sworn protector? One of many, or sole protector. Um, I think he is this side's protector. He's the he li- he does live on on Earth full time. Yes. Okay. Are we usually keep calling him Squatch or Harry Harold? Well, I think the Hendersons name him Harry. Yeah, his real name is just Squatch. Well, his real name is 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 not communicative. Squatch Squatch number seven. Mm-hmm. And then. He all right. So seven Squatch. Uh, don't don't lift don't lift too hard on this reboot. Don't. Seven Squatch. He lives on the Earth side, and and he, what he is what does he guard? He's compelled to make pies, I guess. Despite he, despite he needs his, to, despite his assigned task of he rejuvenates. Is it does does seven Squatch have a, an unnatural compulsion, or does making pies? Um, you know, do something for him. Mm. When he breaks into a house, when he when he when he puts that pie out to cool, and he flips the hourglass, and and he and and he oh he he doesn't leave a note. When he flips the hourglass to indicate that the pie is now cooled enough. Mm-hmm. I mean, does that does that get his rocks off? Is he like is he like set? <laughs> okay, we gotta turn it into something weird. Does that does the does the pie does finishing the pie? complete him it 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 is a form of i don't know is it like a prank? is it how they regenerate magical energy yeah is it like a prank or is it how he rejuvenates that's the question mm-hmm. i think that every time oh, something is trying to get into the cave right the sworn enemy of the fey or they just don't want humans coming across i i don't he's guarding the cave from something right yeah, he's more, like, he's, he's more like a doorman, maybe. This you is know. perfect. This is good. This is good. This is good. No, 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 perfect. He is a doorman for a magical shield around the cave. Mm-hmm. Every time he, every time someone bites into a pie that he made, Ooh. just a little bit, a little bit of their love and their joy and their enjoyment of the pie feeds the energy of the sh- of this cave shield. Right. Interesting. He doesn't just need to make pies. He needs the people he makes the pies for to eat it. He uses pie enjoyment as magical fuel. Yes, it's the conduit. The conduit with with. So he's his vested interest is breaking into as many homes as possible, making as many pies as possible. Yes. But here's the problem. Yeah. He loves the Hendersons. Yes, he's not so. Ah. When when the Hendersons eat one pie, it's maxed out. Oh, you're saying I was thinking maybe this is actually a bad. This is a consequence. Like he he's spending so much time with one family instead of making. Yeah, pies, that's what I was saying. But it's not maxed. I'm saying it's not maxed. I'm saying he should be making pies all over town, but he's only spending time with this one family, and so the shield strength. Yeah, is you dwindling. Said, Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was saying the Hendersons max their giving amount. Oh, the Hendersons are at capacity. But he keeps making pies for the Hendersons. And they're they're no longer... Because he loves being with them. And they love him. But the shield is weakening. Yes, and it's... 
And so, and so, and so, seven Squatch is seven is torn. I think we just call him Squatch. Squatch is shredded up on the inside. Okay. Because he needs to make these pies. He needs to sow his wild pie oats. Mm hmm. But he loves the Hendersons. Now, let's talk about the Hendersons themselves. Yeah, let's talk about those Hendies. You've, um, you've got George. I've barely. George is the dad. Mm hmm. Um, Glenn, Gwen, Gwen is the mom, something Na- like that. Nancy. Nancy's the daughter, right? Okay. <laughs> um, and Scott Bayo is there. Yeah. So are we? I, I a, guess, is there a fifth one? I think there's is there a dog. I'm pretty sure they just have like a boy and a girl, but um, I mean there could be a dog. So we're rebooting. We're doing a re-reboot of the property in general, not just mm-hmm. so we can shake it up. Okay, so it are, is ours a TV show or a film? I think this this one's got to be a film, I think. Okay. Because once, once Squatch decides how to handle his the two pieces of his heart, I think that's the end of the story. He only has two. The, uh, 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 metaphorically speaking. You tell me he's got one of the... His heart is literally one of those, like, friendship lockets? Friendship. No, that's 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 literally the opposite of what metaphorical means. You're telling me that his heart looks like a playing card heart shape that is cracked down the middle. Yes. Okay. In in but in his head. His heart is inside his head. I mean, I guess that's fine. Squatches would would aren't aren't bound by the physiology of this plane. They could you know have hearts wherever they want. They can have five. They can have two butts. They could have two butts, and maybe they do. How how deep do we want to get in these Squatch butts? <laughs> <laughs> um, not deep. No, they have one butt. Just you know what? Butt? No one knows how many butts they have because we're not going to look at them. We're not going to look at their butts ever. No one's going to look at them. We try not to sexualize the Squatch. But Frank, this is the NBCW. Oh well. Is this well? I thought this was a movie. Is this a hot does squatch? The, does the NBCW do movies? NBCW has. We've done movies before. We've done, but has it been our label? Has it been the NBCW? It, well, it's been the NBCW property. You know, it's kind of like how S. Like, there's all those movies that are owned by yeah, SNL. Yeah, so we'll, we'll spin off Squatch Productions. Do it. Do we have a hot squatch? That's what I want to know. You're gonna need to walk me through that. Is he a hot squatch? I don't know what I don't know what the problem oh, is. Oh yeah, well I mean he's gotta be not creepy, right? So he's gotta be toasty. Super hot squatch. Hot squatch. Alright, so we got um we got mom and dad. We're just, we're just gonna call him mom and dad. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, they don't need names. They just need Alright, and there's and there's Scott Bao. Scott Bao. Is he gonna play the child, despite the fact that he's like a sixty year old man? Um Is he sixty? I mean they aged down Robert Downey Jr., so yeah, it looks a little plastic. Although that Kurt Russell aged down in um, Guardians Two, it's the best I've ever seen. It's fifty six. Fifty six. You think we could uh, get maybe Scott Bayo? Scott Bayo is dad. Yeah. And John Lithgow could be Harry. No, he's not hot. Is he? No, hot? and no, and I mean, I bet so John Scott... Lithgow's hot to some people. Scott Bayo's dad. Honestly, we set up this thing where we cast people. I don't really care who the other three are as long as Scott Bayo's dad. I don't have so Scott got... Bayo's dad. So we got mom, we got son and daughter, son and daughter, and Scott. We got mom, d- son, dad. We what got, are they like emotionless aliens? We got we got Scott Bayo, mom, they, son, and daughter. Are they like undercover <clears throat> other Why not? beings? Why not? Why would they not be undercover to try to capture all of Squatch's love? But Scott Bayo genuinely falls in love with him platonically. Yeah. What? There's nothing wrong with he, if it's not platonic. What's wrong with that? I just I'm clarifying, but nothing will be wrong with it. No judgment. I'm just wondering. Maybe he does. We'll 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 we'll, we'll explore. We'll, we'll explore the space. <laughs> yeah, let's not keep so, ourselves in this corner. It's really so Scott Bayo, mom, son, daughter. They're um, they're they're a family unit that is composed of undercover agents of uh, they're agents of science, right? Because science says that the Bigfoots can't exist. So science wants to capture the cave of the fairies and shut it all down because they're, they're not supposed to exist mm. right so science is bad so, yeah science is bad and uh, is this big science it's it's bigger it's biggest science okay and it's so... all the governments 
and it's the man. So we have a lot of shots lab in, coats. Like, in like the 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 control room with a lot of flashing lights and screens, like tracking the squatch, mm-hmm. um, graphs and charts about fey energy. And they say, and science science says, agents, you are the fam the family unit. We have determined that you need to go live in um we 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 isolated Oregon, we've iso- we, we've detected a large concentration of the fey energy in this area you must investigate yes. and as you know i say that they can't exist it, this is science speaking yeah science is giving his orders what does science look like uh he's just a voice you on see over the radio Hmm? You know, we don't get to see science? Not in the beginning, I don't think. Is he a flying spaghetti monster? Mm-hmm. No, scrap it, scrap it. Science is... I think he's just a guy in a lab coat, maybe. Yeah, just go easy. And, like, it. he's got glasses, and he's just always holding a microscope. Here's what I... I don't want Bill Nye for the part, though. No, 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 no. I think that's no. too. I think it's too simple. I think we just get a rando no. guy. We can't have Neil. Just a or dude. Bill. We put goggles on his face. Yeah, he's got. We face shave goggles, his head. For sure. He's holding a microscope. Always holding a microscope. Always holding a microscope. In his one hand and in his other twenty four seven. A calculator. Yeah, but like one of those like like pocket calculators. And then in his other hand is like a microscope. And then his other hand is like a hadron collider. The whole, just around his waist like a belt. <laughs> He's got a small hadron collider. Just super tiny. Yeah. Is it hadron or hadron? I don't know, I've heard it both ways. So science, science, science finishes here. telling the agents. Science says to the agents, I, I say they can't exist. So, and you'll be living in northwest United States, the, the state of Oregon. Oregon or Washington? Do we need to know Wash- where? Anywhere with forests. Pacific Northwest, even a little mm-hmm. bit of California. I'll try. Want to try to stay out of CA? That's where the liberals live. So, um, hey buddy, I've got some bad news about Oregon. Then, which one is the least liberal? I don't think that that needs to matter. I think right. Harry is not political. Squatch. All right, so science says you're going to the only place where we can't. Where, 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 science. Oh, this is this will be a this will be a good one, Scott. Okay. Science says we need to send you an undercover because science isn't allowed where you're going, California. <laughs> That'll teach him. Take that, California. So they're so they're in L. A. So they're in L. A. Specifically. Yes. Oh. Blah, 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 oh. Blah. Take it all out of the forest, because it's a maximum number of houses to make pies. He wouldn't be in a heavily forested area. That's true. The cave is in... Hmm. How close can we... Is the cave in on the beach now? Yeah, it's one of those beach caves you find. Yeah, just a lot around. of beach caves. Just all the beach caves. Yes. So science... So the, the undercover team dispatches. And they didn't even, like... Like, they didn't even meet before this. They're just undercover agents, right? Mm-hmm. But... Um, they have to pretend to be a family. Mm-hmm. So we'll, 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 oh. we'll give it like, um, None you know, like 10 related. minutes, 10 minutes of the agents. Like there's this thing called a twonky, but he's holding a twinkie. What? Like they have to acclimate. They don't know what twinkies are. <laughs> well, I'll get, no, wait. <laughs> are they Do you like think science lets them have twinkies are they like ro- so, twinkies are products of science so okay they're actually just they're familiar with the way that are Earth they works. like robots what are these people <laughs> i was i don't know i got way off over there um <laughs> these are normal these are normal people who live on earth <laughs> and work they work for science, but they know what Twinkies are. I'm sorry, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So they work for they work I think, for science. I think that ten minute scene can be, be them meeting each other for the first time and acclimating as a fake family. Yeah, being a fake family, but they do know how Earth works. Correct. They have to play like Monopoly together. 
Mm-hmm. And they, they don't like each other, but then they learn to operate as a unit. But... Because they've got to catch the, the, the they got to catch Squatch. But then, of course, Scott Bayo falls in love with Squatch. Yeah, not well. I mean, not this early because they haven't even met Squatch yet. No, but he will. He will, and that's going to cause tension yeah, in the and family. Deeply in love. So you tell me. So Harry comes to live with them despite the other the family. Like, why don't they just immediately catch and report him now? Because <sighs> that's not the mission. They don't need to kill squatch Mm -hmm. they need to find out one where the cave is Mm. two compromise its defenses so that science can move in they run into squatch so squatch makes pies all over the place right yeah yeah yeah. the hendersons now because they're undercover they know how the pie thing works Mm -hmm. so they eat every single pie every time and squatch begins to make sure he hits them every time because sometimes people don't eat the pies. They don't finish the pie. If you finish the pie, it's the maximum magic, right? The Hendersons finish every pie. And more importantly, they keep buying ingredients. Oh, yeah. He uses their stuff. He uses all so the they ingredients. They know what's up. They're trying to get him to like hang out with them a lot so then they can be mm-hmm. like, hey. Like, what's your deal, bro? Gonna eat your pie? You wanna like, watch? Uh, yeah, and then they can be like, hey. Hey, where's... Hey, why don't you take us to that cave? Do you have a home, Harry? Yeah, oh, and this is perfect. This is perfect. The the son, probably. He, the, the, the first time that, that the Squatch, that Squatch visits, mm-hmm. and, and they're, like, trying to communicate with him, like, not panic him. The son, the, the agent playing the son, like, gets, gets too greedy, and he says, do you have a home? And Squatch just books it. Yeah, he's like, I'm out! Yeah, he just che- he like he like jumps through the bay window and he's just running. He probably like pushes some stupid smart car out of the way. He's like he's like you know how they're so small, so we can probably just push it out of the way. Yeah, he's like uh, danger, too close, and he runs away. Yeah, he doesn't say that in English though. No, he's just like but we're gonna subtitle Bigfoot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry, who's Bigfoot? We're gonna subtitle Squatch. Oh yeah, sorry. Did, did, did somebody say Bigfoot? I did. We're not allowed to say that. And, and then I self-corrected. Um, so he's going to like, rrr, rrr, and like run. But the subtitle is going to say like, like, I don't know you yet. I'm not very comfortable. Mm. But of course, the agents, the Hendersons, the Hendersons family unit doesn't know that. And so then Scott Bayo gets mad at son. And that's why they're just called mom and son and daughter and dad is because um, that's like the code names. So Scott Bayo says, like, son, you almost ruined the mission. And, like, they have a, they have a shout. They have a shout. He says, son, you're coming on too strong. Who, mm-hmm. who, you got to play it cool. I know you're just fresh out of the academy, but we have ways of yeah, doing you don't know things. How to, you don't know how to seduce prey. Okay. <laughs> and he's like, we have regulations. And the son's like, you're getting too close to the subject. Mm-hmm. That's good. This is and then Harry, this so Harry dialogue. runs, um, he runs to get like an espresso. Yes, he does. Cause Harry, <laughs> he just hangs, hold up. He just yeah. goes to coffee shops. It's LA dude. No one cares. So Harry's not even really hiding at this point. He's just living. Well, he needs people to eat his pies. And he needs to make enough pies every night. And so he's been going to coffee shops and does not but care. But here's that- the thing. Here's the thing. Hmm. He's lonely. So he goes to the coffee shops. Well, I mean, he goes to get a coffee because he just got, he's just all freaked out. This is the first time he's been to one. Is he now accidentally revealing himself to more? Yeah. So I think he goes to the back in like the dumpster. Cause when, when Squatch says to himself, let me go get an espresso. What he means is let me go like, um, like wrap up a um mm-hmm. like a coffee strainer and like suck the juice mm. from the garbage mm. you know what i'm talking about mm-hmm. he just he just sucks it out the garbage yeah <laughs> yes okay yeah because he just talked to because he just talked to a people he's not cool with this he's eating those trash bear claws yeah the ones that were mandatory they have to throw them out every night yeah the day olds yeah, because they used to give them to, like, the homeless, but then, uh, like, one person in the homeless shelter got sick, and then, like, they, like, sued, and then they just stopped doing it. 
There's ho- the homeless man sued. Yeah. Oh, okay. Kind of, kind of ruined it for everybody. Yeah, that sucks. Okay, so then. That's not part of the movie. Oh, okay. I thought maybe. Home- you know, it, it could be. Nah. You sounded really disappointed. No, no, no. This is. I started feeling bad for that homeless man. So then, does Harry get captured? I feel like he's gotta, right? <sighs> well, I feel like the agents would want Squatch to trust them so that he would eventually lead them to the cave. But the family is getting. So everyone but the son is being. Uh, they're falling for him, you know? And the son is like, am I the only one who cares yes. about this mission? I, I remember the mission. And you are all talking yeah. about the book, and I am the book. He goes over their heads, calls in science. Calls up science. And then science shows up, and they capture Harry. And they imprison the family. But then son realizes the true meaning of lo- when you can't believe your eyes, fall, trust your heart. Mm. <gasps> and he frees the family and then together they free Harry and then they escape through the cave to live in the fairyland forever after they forever just took, well it, for but his duty is to guard the cave one day they will come back and destroy science eh? but now they know their enemy i mean they already knew their enemy they used to work well, for him the f- the fairies didn't know their enemy did they not? I feel like fairies are pretty competent. Do the fairies have their own version of science on the other side of the cave monitoring? Well, I think it's. I think, I think they have magic. Right. It's not called science. Yeah. So they've got magic that's monitoring science. Yeah. So well. Yeah. That, that that'll work. That'll work. That'll work. It doesn't have to work. I mean, we're, we're nah, it's fine. Let's explore the space. I like the idea that magic is commanding from the other side. Mm-hmm. So maybe. Ooh. Harry goes back. They go back, and they're like magic. Magic, there's a pro. They're, they're coming. This is it. Get ready for Harry and the Hendersons too. So they, because science knows where the cave is, so they go into the cave and they say, "Magic, science knows where the cave is. We have a problem." And magic, magic turns around and she says, "Get ready for Harry and the Hendersons too." Just right into the screen. Mm-hmm. Coming this fall. Whoa, same year as Harry and the Hendersons one. Yes, we only get the suit for ten months, and we got to use it. So we filmed them both at the same time. That's you know what? That's that's just frugal. That's just that's economical. I mean, they filmed all we three. We know Lord of the we Rings know the first once. one's gonna rock. Yeah, first one's gonna rock. So Harry and the Andersons two. I actually think that we just film it as a continuous four hour movie, and then we pick a good point and we just we just chop it and add credits. Okay. Right. Yeah. Different. So Harry song. and the Andersons two. Magic says, "Let's let's go." And let's fight it out. And there's a big let's fight. Let's mobilize the it's strike. It's just a two-hour long battle scene. Just huge. It's, it's you know, we're... we're so taking... science brings all their things. Science brings we're... Uh, guns. Science brings drugs. Science <laughs> brings... Um, plastic. Flashlights. Yeah, plastic. It, science brings... Um, look around like... my room. Science brings... Like, like furniture. Uh, science purified um, um, science science brings milk yes science brings deodorant and finally science brings laser jet printers yes to just and they bring um they, their siege weapon is this really 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 big 3d printer mm. where they say like they say like like strike team like what what will we need in 12 hours? Start printing that now, because it'll take a while. I like the typing fully. That's good. What about... I think we just take a page, you know, from that from that Peter Jackson book. Or, yeah. And, you know, I like that it's just a two-hour battle movie. Like those hobbits. Like the hobbits. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, they've got that giant printer. That's like a big... That's one part where they have to disable the 3D printer, because that's how science is producing That's how science troops. is printing... Yeah, they keep printing these these units. Units that are just like what are they? Just like cubes. Yeah, they're just like laser cubes. Oh, laser shoot. cubes. And they like ram. They like either just bump into things or they like shoot. I'm into that. Do they? And like, then magic brings. Do they like, magic. Br- 
Okay, no, go ahead. Do they, like, touch cubes together to make bigger cubes? To make bigger cubes? Yeah, why not, dude? And they make a mega cube. Mega cube. Like that episode at some of point, Voltron. Yeah, well, at some point, it probably becomes a rectangle, but they, they fix it. And it's, no, and no, it, no, 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 no. At the no, end, no, it's a cube. No, 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 no. Because no they got to go end to end. Mm. Unless... Because then four would have to come at the exact same time and touch to stay a cube. Yeah, I mean, they're perfectly, you know, they're perfectly, uh, you know... They're no. perfectly synced. They have a high yeah. cube mind. Yeah, so then they always stay a cube no matter what. And that's kind of like the end game. So then we have magic, right? And magic has, like, fairies. And magic has elves. Magic has... Unicorns. Um, um, hobbits. Midichlorians. Midichlorians. Jedi. Old people. Old people. Babies. Woodland animals. Um... Space animals. Fire as a general concept. Yeah, lightning, earth, wind, fire, Mm -hmm. and water, of course. Um, Yes. The the big four. Er, And earth, wind, and fire, because they have music. The band, yeah. They Magic magic gets music. They have music and love. Magic gets music and love, and... um, Um, They have, like, crystals. Gemstones. Mm -hmm. Minerals. Um, I'm looking around my room. They have... Most of that's science. Um, bi- no, that's science. Light, um, light and darkness. Yeah, the shadow. Yeah, and flame. And imagination. Balrogs. Dragons. And dragons. Dragons. So dragons fight the mega cubes. Oh, yeah, dude. You got those right? dragons on those cubes. Because this all is day. a battle waged on multiple fronts. All day. In this air, sky, water. And this is just, this is, and this is just straight up Duke Town, right? They're just duking it out. Duke. Oh, like fighting. Yeah, that's that's not what Duke means all the time, but no, I understand. Um, yeah, no, they're just fighting for two whole hours for just solid, and it's um not a ton of dialogue because there's siege, there's infantry, there's there's probably some cavalry. Do you think we can get that good good CGI they used in the third Hobbit movie? Yeah, we're gonna have really good CGI. Is what it's gonna be like the third Hobbit movie? Yeah, we're, it's gonna be really good, mm-hmm. and I think. Um, mm-hmm. go on. I was gonna say like, <sighs> go on. Science can't lose a hundred percent because we need like, science to live. Yeah, we need like medicine and doctors. Science is just but, told it has no place here in the land of. But magic, magic yeah, magic can't die because we need, um, you know, midi chlorians. Matt, they come to a standoff and they agree that um they must never destroy the other. Yeah. And Harry is saved, and... And Harry and Scott Bayo just are happily ever after. Yeah, and like They just get to go... They go to Aruba! Relationship. Oh, big time, dude. Harry and... Harry, Harry the Sasquatch and Scott Bayo are like... Basically the it couple of the next ten years now. Yeah, I mean, I said it was platonic, but you know, we really explored the space, and it turns out yeah, it was romantic. Yeah, it just naturally turns out it is... Deeply committed and let's be honest, sexual. <laughs> I didn't know. I don't know that we need to get into how. Maybe, yeah, okay, sure. And then, because mm. magic and science intertwine. And do you want to know what they make, Scott? When oh, magic God. and science oh, intertwine, no. no, don't make it gross. I'm doing a good thing. When magic and science come together, Scott, no, they cre- they create hope. Who's hope? No, it's just the concept. But oh, also, is... they adopt a Chinese baby. What? Well, can Harry have children? They're, they're both the male of the species, Scott. They cannot harbor a birth child. Harry's magic, though. Not that way. That doesn't work. Oh. What if Harry was a woman? I will not let that work. No. Mm-mm. Dude Squatch, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay. They adopt a beautiful baby... And they call her Hope. And she is raised in the uh, as a child of both realms. Yes. But she is Microscope actually... in one hand, and crystal gem in the other. But she's actually not from magic. She has no magic in her. Science, you may be born of science, but you get made of magic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's pretty good. And then the triquel. That's, the, that's a good tagline for, for Harry <laughs> and the Hendersons 2. Well, for Harry and the Hendersons 3, colon, Hope Henderson. 
You may be made of science. Born of science. Born of science, but you are made of magic. Born of science, made of magic. The prophecy. The prophecy. That's good. And then we find out that this whole planet wasn't even Earth. Oh shit, dog. What? How do they have a how do they have a Los Angeles? It's just it's just one of those things. Every planet has an LA. You know how like every state has a Rochester? It's just like that. Uh-huh. Yeah, all those Rochesters. Rochester, Arizona, very popular. Mm-hmm. Blasted mm-hmm. wasteland, but go on. I'm actually on a I'm a- <laughs> Uh, I actually, it's a, it's a, it's a bucket list item of mine to visit every state Rochester. And, and you've you know, been to what? I've hit the big ones. I've hit the big ones. Yeah. I've been to Rochester, Louisiana, uh, Mississippi, Rochester, Oregon, and, uh, Rochester, Florida was kind of a shithole, but, um, you know, gotta go. Rochester, Florida is one of the top 10 Northern Florida swamp cities. Yes. And that's saying something. All right, well, let's 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 cut. Yeah, it okay. Well, we uh, you know, we endeavored to make a movie and we made 3. <laughs> we d- you know, that's that. That is that's the, the dream. That's the freaking dream. And uh, you know, let's cut it. Print it. Print it. Ship it. Ship it. Put it in a pizza. Put it in a pizza pouch. Oh, I see. I like it. All right, well, everybody, thank you for listening to Reboot Leggers. Um, please tell your friends thank you to everyone who has told your friends and shared it on social media uh you can follow us on twitter at rebootleggers please uh review and rate on itunes and subscribe as well that really helps us with visibility um hey ned so good and until next time i'm scott owen i'm frank sarah uh, frank what's our password for next week password for next week is oh uh-huh. Oh, that's pretty good. It was like a home improvement spinoff. Little, 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 t- little man Taylor in there. Yeah. Little Timmy. All right. That's very good. <laughs>